Speedrunning, the race between you and the clock. There's a particular amount of finesse that goes into completing a game in record time and designing a game to be completed in record time. In order to speedrun a game, the player must be familiar with the shortcuts, time savers, and methods to breeze through each section of the game with ease. At the same time, learning to speedrun a game provides a barrier to entry with extended tracking tools, countless hours of memorization, repetition, just to be on par to compete to break a score. However, what if there was one game that was not only designed with speedrunning in mind, but was built around it? Ask me to describe Neon White in one sentence. I would say that Neon White is a parkour puzzle platformer that prioritizes speed and mastery and encourages replayability, which is all true and is the elevator pitch for this game. But Neon White is more importantly a cleverly crafted game designed to be speedrun that provides a level of accessibility for new players new to speedrunning, like myself, and provides a challenging competitive scene for veteran players. Lead designer Ben Esposito stated, that his experiences watching speedruns influenced the initial idea and the core mechanics, stating speedrunning becomes less about skill and execution and more about solving a puzzle to complete the game as fast as possible. This sentiment is what would form the formula for each level of Neon White, and I'm telling you right now, once you start, you can't stop. Neon White is a first-person platformer that takes aspects of the deck-building genre, creating a unique sandbox of diverse parkour puzzles, where your greatest threat is the clock. Neon White's gameplay loop is focused around killing all the demons of a said level and reaching the finish line as quick as possible. When completing a said level, the player will be rewarded with a medal spanning from bronze to diamond. With each incremental medal that you acquire, the player is provided added benefits, such as a little hand that will appear to give the player a shortcut. This hand doesn't can hold the player, pun not intended, but rather provides an avenue or strategy to the player to assist them in reducing their time. It's all still dependent on the player's execution, however, as these shortcuts provide an additional puzzle for the player to solve. The level design for Neon White starts off rather simplistic, with the player being introduced to the basic mechanics of the game. Then the player is slowly introduced to the different cards that are referred to as soul cards. And this is where the formula for Neon White really starts to take form, with the player being able to construct their own methodical way to navigate and complete each level. Take the Elevate card for example. This yellow color-coded card has a pistol on it, and can be used as a pistol to dispose of enemies. However, it does have a second ability when being discarded that can enable the player to double jump giving the player an extra added layer of player movement and traversal through the level. It's this continuous evolution on the skill set of both movement and weapon variety that keeps Neon White fun and challenging. But what seals the deal in this puzzle platforming level is Neon White's approach to enemy design. Each level will be littered with X amount of enemies for the player to beat before they can cross the finish line. This means that the player will need to be strategic with how they pick off enemies, but enemies in Neon White also provide the player a benefit as particular enemies are color-coded to represent a particular card that they drop when defeated. It is this, that in addition to the inherent abilities of each card, is what pushes to keep the player improving and bettering their completion time through trial and error, which is the foundation of any good speedrunning game. This is where the fun factor, the replayability, comes from in Neon White, and how fluid and well thought out each level is designed. The levels are created with a great depth making the stage feel like an acrobatic playground where you are continuously hop, skipping and jumping from building to building to reach a destination. These levels are intentionally crafted that way so they can guide the player to their destination through a long route. Once the player knows that, they can begin optimizing their route to tailor it to get there that little second quicker each time. The game puts speedrunning at the forefront of the game and is continuously amping the pressure with new tools for mastery throughout each chapter. Neon White manages to take all the aspects of speedrunning that players enjoy 
and bake it into one gameplay experience where there's an in-game timer, leaderboards, medals, and shortcuts continuously showing the player their improvements. In Neon White, there's even an additional bonus medal for players wanting to go above and beyond with their speedrunning challenges. Once they've reached the Diamond Medal, there is an additional hidden medal. This red medal is the Dev Times Medal, and is awarded to players who clear the level faster than the developers. These Dev Time Medals are a neat added bonus for those dedicated speedrunners out there. These medals, coupled with the leaderboards, continuously provide a sense of progression and a reason to keep mastering your parkour skills. The soundtrack for Neon White is energetic and atmospheric, with its EDM breakcore inspired soundtrack that syncopates with the gameplay like PB and J. The soundtrack keeps the adrenaline pumping, empowering you with each incremental run, making you feel like a badass as you hop, dash, and cannonball across the map in a trance with the music. When thinking of Neon White's soundtrack, I kind of like to think of it as a skipping rope. It's always spinning, on repeat, constantly, and although you may miss a jump here and there, it's there, waiting for you, spinning, encouraging you to jump back in and give it another try. The soundtrack is stylistic, and the Machine Girl tracks keep the blood pumping, and it's definitely something that I've incorporated into my regular music rotation. Now we're going to get into the more problematic side of Neon White. That is, its story. The story for Neon White is, uh... I... I was? Well... Okay, fine. I can spare. You want to bend your knees a bit. Arms extended, but not locked. <sighs> is this good? The story for Neon White is not what I would call its selling point. If you were to ask me, should I get this game purely for its story, it probably would lean more towards a no. But whilst Neon White does have a cool premise and some interesting ideas, I would say that it is more padding to service the gameplay elements of the game. The premise of Neon White is that our main protagonist, named Neon White, wakes up in heaven with no recollection of his memories and how he died. He is surrounded by people who know who he is, which were his friends from when he was alive, and are explorable through social activities. The concept and idea that drives the gameplay is that heaven has been infiltrated by demons, and there is 10 days until this judgment day that the angels of heaven are saying is upon us. So Neon White, along with his collective of Neons, aka his friends, have been assigned with eradicating that demon threat. The characters are pretty one-dimensional. You're given a chance to explore these characters more deeply through social interactions in a somewhat Danganronpa persona style where you have free time where you can give them gifts in exchange for their story and their past, helping you recall your memories. All the story elements of Neon White are more of a mechanism that is used to better provide context to the gameplay and add on additional time to your playtime with Neon White. I would say, if you're picking up Neon White, that more of the reason that you'd be getting this game is for its gameplay and its soundtrack. The story is a bit of a miss, if I'm being honest, which is a shame because I love every other aspect of this game so much. We're called Neons, sinners plucked from hell to do God's dirty work, but I'm finding it hard to believe we're in heaven. Old friends, ex-lovers. Only one of us can stay in heaven, and I've got a score to settle. Neon White delivers a fast, action-packed parkour experience that can keep you hooked for hours after completing its main story, and provides multiple reasons to keep you engaged, including additional modes and challenges post the main game. Its adrenaline-pumping moment-to-moment gameplay continuously manages to find new ways to elevate player enjoyment through its cleverly crafted level design and approach to enemy and item management. The breakcore soundtrack is the cherry on top to what it feels like to be a parkour maneuvering badass. The relationship that the gameplay and soundtrack share can evoke a feeling in the player that is best expressed as Whilst I didn't particularly love the writing or the story for Neon White with its cheesy dialogue and one-dimensional characters, I did find that this did not hinder my experience with the game, and overall I would say Neon White is one of the more memorable and engaging experiences that I've had in 2022. I would not be surprised if Angel Matrix were to add a map creator mode in the future that would facilitate leaderboard integration and medals, because 
what they have created here foundationally is an explosive, action-packed experience where both speedrunners, new and experienced, are welcomed and challenged to continuously improve. And it is in my opinion that a custom map creator would be the final component needed to truly immortalize this game as something that an already dedicated community would forever return to. Angel Matrix have forged a winning formula here and I would love to see more of this studio's future works and more studios build upon and make use of the concept of speedrunning. This is a parkour enthusiast's playground. This is Neon White. Thank you for watching.